Hi everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel So Little Time and my name is Karen. So I hope you're all doing really well. I thought I would treat you to another video outside whilst we've still got this lovely weather and at the time of filming this video it is the last day of school for the boys so they're really really excited and we are going on holiday this Saturday. So when you actually see this video I will hopefully be basking in the sunshine in glorious Cornwall so I'm really looking forward to that. It's been a long awaited holiday and we are all ready for it that's for sure. So I've got a few makes to share with you today uh, which is makes that I've done during the month of June. I didn't make too much, I just had a fairly busy month so I've only managed to get a few bits sewn and I am finding that my time is a lot more limited than it used to be with taking the boys out on their club nights and things so my evenings are getting taken up with being a taxi service for that but it's been thoroughly enjoyable because I have been able to um, stay on club nights and beavers nights and things like that so that's been really nice but yeah my sewing time is very limited these days so I'm really excited to share with you the things that I did manage to get made and some of you may recognize this fabric and this dress because I have done a little how-to series on how to line the bodice of this dress and also how to bias bind a hem because I have done that on this dress so this is the Colette peony dress and I'll just show you the pattern envelope here so this is what it looks like now Colette patterns are actually no longer so you can get all of the Colette patterns on the Teamwork website and you can buy them as you see them but you can also subscribe to their website as well um, where you pay a monthly subscription kind of fee to get access to all of their patterns for free um, and then I think you earn credits as you are subscribed with them for certain things I'm not quite sure exactly what that is but um, I will link all of the details in the description box below for you in case you wanted to go and have a look um, it's a shame that yeah they, they've discontinued as, as such I suppose but I do really like Colette patterns so this is the peony dress and as you can see on the front here it's a nice sort of fit and flare style dress which is really right up my street um, there are two different variations there's a short sleeve and a long sleeve and they've both got a, a sort of a cummerbund style belt um, now I've not made the belt and as you can see I've made mine sleeveless so I've just omitted the sleeves and I have lined the bodice um, to ensure that all the raw edges are enclosed so that was one of my how-to videos and I'll link those as well in case you're interested in having a look at those so the fabric that I've made this dress in I got from Flamingo Fabrics now that was quite a while ago so it's very doubtful that they will have it and I think it's a sort of quilting cotton um, is it's quite a stable fabric but it's quite a soft quilt and cotton so it's really malleable and it's been really lovely to sew with as well. So when I made this dress in the past um, I made it out of a cotton poplin and that worked really well as well um, but I did make some notes in the back of this because um, it's got a little notes section at what size I made because I actually couldn't remember and I'd had this particular dress cut out under my bed for a number of years so this was one of my work in progresses so again I've ticked another one off my list that I needed to get done so I've made the size eight and I haven't made any changes to it whatsoever um, and the size eight is for a bust of 37 inches a waist of 29 and a hips of 39 now my bust is slightly smaller and um, I am about a 34 to 35 inch bust and my waist is a 30 and my hips are about a 41 um, at the moment so the finished garment measurements only gives you the sort of bust measurement for the size eight and that's 39 inches so it, i have got quite a bit of ease in there um but it fits absolutely fine in actual fact so it's nice just to have that little bit of wearing ease in it um i think i made notes for the last time i made it to make the darts bigger at the back neckline or size down but i haven't actually done that and i think it's absolutely fine um but yes this was a really really straightforward make it's really lovely to sew this dress and it's just a real nice shape as well so just put the pattern down so you can see this lovely neckline i really love this type of neckline i think it's really flattering on me and um, so it's a, sort of a boat neck style i suppose and like i said i have um omitted the sleeves so it's fully lined and um, so i haven't used bias binding or anything like that i've literally just fully lined the bodice itself i haven't lined the skirt it's just purely the bodice so i'll just pan you down a little bit um, it's got bust darts here and they're pointing in exactly the right place which is really nice it also has darts here at the waist and then on the skirt here there are some pleats I don't know if you'll be able to see that very well um, just a couple of inverted pleats now that isn't part of the pattern I have decided to do that myself because actually on the pattern um, it shows you here that they they are gathering stitches there I suppose all it's supposed to be gathered in those areas there and I just didn't like how that looked I thought it looked a little bit messy so I decided to put inverted pleats on there instead 
and then I'll just show you the back. So it's uh, finished with an invisible zip all the way down the back here. And I think that's about a 16 or 20 inch zip. Um, and then this is where I was thinking that I should have actually took the neckline in a little bit more with the darts because there are two little darts here. Um, so perhaps next time I should do that just to bring it in slightly closer to my back there at the top of my neck. Um, but really, that doesn't really bother me too much the fact that it's get a little bit gapy because my hair will cover it you know i usually wear my hair down quite a lot anyway um, and then it's a lovely a-line skirt which is perfect for my shape and i have bias bound the hem at the bottom just because i liked the length of the dress that as it was so doing a bias bound hem you don't actually take then too much up um, so that is really nice and I think it also holds the skirt shape as well now I've omitted the pockets um, it does come with pockets but I didn't put them in the last time I made this dress they felt really far back and they were really shallow as well so I just didn't like them and I didn't use them so I thought I may as well not put them in this dress but you could put your own pocket insert in as you see fit I suppose yeah but it fits really really nicely um, nicely into my back there as well yeah really really pleased with this dress and i absolutely love this fabric it's really bright and i think it really suits my coloring at the moment i've got a little bit of a tan going on on my uh, arms and face and my neck and stuff i need a bit more on my on my body <laughs> to match um but yeah really really pleased with that so hopefully i'll be getting a tan whilst i'm away right so we're we'll just quickly tell you the sizing that this comes in and um, so it comes in sizes 0 through to 18 so it's not the biggest size selection and um, so that's a bust of 33 to 46 inches a waist of 25 to 38 inches and hips of 35 to 48 inches so not the biggest size range um, and I went with the size 8 which is slightly smaller than my body measurements on my waist and hips but there is enough ease in the pattern to fit me which is really nice and I have to say this fabric is really really soft as well so it's um yeah it, it has a little bit of give in it which is quite nice so yeah beautiful pattern um I hope you take a look at it because I don't think this is one that is made very often um yeah and I will be definitely making this again whether I make it with the sleeves I'm not too sure my other one was sleeveless as well so anyway I shall now go and get changed into my next couple of makes and um, so I'll be back in a second Right, so next up, I've got my next couple of makes on and it is the Saguaro set by the Friday Pattern Company. And I'm pretty sure that you will have seen this all over Instagram and loads of other people have been making it because it's a really popular pattern right now. And I have to say, I absolutely love it. And I've seen it on so many people and it just really suits all sorts of different shapes and sizes, you know, so any sort of body type, it just seems to really suit. And I think it's just the style of it. It's just you know really i don't know it's just really really nice pattern i absolutely love it and i've just made this in time to take on holiday which i'm really pleased about so the fabric i've made my version in i got from rainbow fabrics and this is a fabric that they gifted to me a little while ago when they had a fabric drop and um, so this is i believe a cotton sort of linen style fabric although i have had somebody contact me to say that they felt it was more of a seersucker because when they washed it um it had gone a bit more sort of crinkly now i have to say i I didn't wash my fabric I was a little bit naughty now I don't usually not wash it I always usually wash my fabric but I think I was just making this as a twine and I thought I'm just gonna get it sewn and I really wanted to get this done quickly so when I do come to wash it I'm just gonna wash it on a cold wash or even a hand wash cycle to try and prevent sort of any shrinking and then I will iron out any of the wrinkles and stuff so and I, I hope that I'll just have light wear of this anyway so it won't get too sweaty <laughs> we'll see but yes it's a beautiful fabric it's just a really really nice sort of um I don't know what would say lilac color uh, in the background there with all these florals all over it it's very flower power very sort of 70s hippie style I did think you know do I look a bit too floral in it but I've come around to really liking it and um, so for this pattern before I go any further I'm just going to show you the front cover so I've got the printed version here so as you can see these are two different size ladies and they both look great in it you know yeah it's really nice so they've got it's got elasticated um waist for both the top and for the trousers and it has a drawstring as well which you can pull it in even more if you want to and then you've got the option of having this lovely tie detail here which is the option that i've gone with and then these are just grown on sleeves so there's no inserting of any sleeves and i have to say this pattern was dead simple to sew the instructions with friday pattern company are really good anyway they are one of my favorite pattern companies to use um, so they hold your hand all the way through step by step and is this is just a relatively easy so anyway so with regards to sizing they give you 
a good size chart there, as you can see. And this goes from an extra small all the way through to a 7X. So it's a really good size range available. And that's a bust of 32 all the way through to 60. And then waist of 24 through to 52 and hips 34 through to 62. So really, really good size range there. So I went with the straight size medium for my top and for my trousers. Um, and that just fits perfectly. So again, my bust is a 34 to 35 inch, waist is a 30, hips are 41. So for the medium, that's a 36 to 37 inch bust and the waist is 28 to 29 and the hips are 37 to 38 inches. So slightly smaller on the waist and hips, but for the um, finished garment measurements, it says here that for the size medium, the full chest is 42. So I, I felt that would be okay because obviously it's supposed to be quite a loose fitting style. And then the waist is uh, 37 and a half and it doesn't give, does it give you the hips? Yes, it gives you the hips. Oh, sorry, that waist was for the top, 37 and a half in a medium. Um, but obviously you cinch that in with elastic. So for the pants measurement or trouser measurement, um, the waist for, a 39, uh, for the medium is a 39 inch and the hip is 41. So I thought, oh, that might be right on the cusp of um, my hip size. So I did make a slight alteration to get them to fit me just right. So let me put this down and I'll stand back so you can see properly. Okay, so it's got a lovely sort of deep V neckline here and I have added the tie version because I just wanted to cover my modesty a little bit. I didn't really want, um, you know, too much boob on display with this one, especially if I wanted to wear it around where I live and that kind of thing. On holidays, it's fine, isn't it? You know, it's not too bad. But yeah, when you're out and about in your own hometown, yeah, don't want to be flashing everything. So it's got this lovely grown on sleeve and you just literally fold that back um, and top stitch it down. The neckline is finished with bias binding, which they give you the pattern piece for, so that's really nice, um, and that's really dead easy to, to make. It's got this lovely elasticated waist here. Now, I haven't lengthened the top, uh, so this is the reason that I wanted to make a toile version, because I wanted to see how much midriff I was gonna have on show. So you can see, it's not too much, but, you know, it's, I, I think that's fine for me. Um, yeah, it's just really, really nice size, so it kind of crosses over here, um, so you just fold it over slightly on top of each other or overlap it slightly and then I've added the tie just to bring that in because I didn't if I didn't have that there you would see my cleavage and as you can see I've got this dreadful colour situation going on I really need to rectify this I'm hoping on holiday that that's going to get tanned as well my goodness it's just yeah you can see I usually have my boobs covered up <laughs> anyway I'm going to pan you down so you can see the trousers so that's also elasticated waist and I've got the drawstring in there as well. So you actually put the elastic in first um, and sew that all up and then you've got two little buttonholes here and then you just insert your drawstring. So you can tie that as tight as you like as well. So it's got pockets as well, which I would say they're not that deep, they're quite shallow. Um, I think I'm used to my new look 6446 jumpsuit with the really deep pockets but yeah so there's some pockets here like I say I've gone with the medium because I didn't want my trouser legs to be really really wide so because the finished garment measurements was just on the cusp of my hip measurement I literally just overlocked the seams together so I haven't used the 3 8 of an inch seam allowance I think I've used about half a centimeter maybe or something like that whatever whatever the width is of your overlocking so i'm just going to pan you down a bit more so you can see so yeah i'm going to be really honest here you know i do have a wrinkly belly because i've had twins didn't have it after having harry but after having twins they stretched me so far because my boys were massive they weren't the normal size of twins huge absolutely huge um yeah, and I went full term with them as well. So, you know, I don't like to show off too much of my stomach anymore, um, but this is just right. And do you know what? Once I get a tan, it will look a lot better as well, you know, but no amount of sit-ups is gonna get rid of my loose skin, unfortunately. So yeah, I'm gonna pan you down so you can see the length of the trousers. So if I stand right back here, you'll see that they are literally just past my ankle. Now, next time I will probably add half an inch on or an inch because I literally had hardly any hem allowance to play with. Um, so I will try and show you what I have done. I'm gonna pan you down a bit more now. Right, so <laughs> let's get my leg up. I have actually added, so it's not bias binding, but it's some tape. Um, and I attached that onto the bottom of the overlocking stitches and then turned it in and top stitched it down. Um, so yeah, just some tape there. So I've literally turned over that hem very, very slightly. So hardly anything at all, but really like the width of them. 
Um, so yeah, I just wish I'd have added that bit of length so you can see that it fits really nicely. Yeah, really pleased with that. They're dead comfy, really comfy. These would make great pyjama bottoms, you know. Um, I was considering having that tape showing at the bottom, but I thought that trim might look a little bit too pyjama -y. So let me see if I can stand back so you can kind of see the whole set together. I don't know if you'll be able to see this, but yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. It's just such a nice pattern and I'm definitely, um, I'm going to be making another one uh, because I've got some fabric from Felicity Fabrics for a blog post. So this was my toile version as such because I wanted to check the fit and also if I wanted to lengthen the actual top itself. Um, but I think I'm actually quite happy, you know, with, with that amount of gap, you know, as I move around, it'll probably show a bit more. I don't know maybe the trousers come up a bit more as my, <laughs> my hips wriggle, I don't know. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with, with that. So I'm not gonna add any length onto my next set either because I think it's fine and I'll wear that around the village absolutely fine. The other fabric that I've got from Felicity Fabrics is a, I think it's like a polyester fabric. Um, so I'm hoping that it's not gonna stick to my legs too much, but if not, I'll just put some body lotion on and that prevents it sticking. So a nice little tip there for you. And um, it's got a little bit of stretch in it as well so again i think that will be really nice to wear because it'll just be nice and comfortable for sitting down in and this fabric um it has a little bit of give in it i think you know it's not it's just lovely soft fabric i'm really really pleased with this and i absolutely love the color of this fabric really really love it so yes that's the makes that i've made then ready to take on holiday which i'm really looking forward to i've literally actually been spending the morning packing and getting all my clothes out and seeing what i'm going to take and i am taking sort of half me made half ready to wear i did have a little bit of a spending spree in tesco's the other day and bought a load of shorts because i was trying to make a pair of shorts before i went away but no they were just taking me too long so they're half made now so i'll perhaps show you those later on this year um but yeah i bought about four or five pairs of shorts because i think i'll just be living in those and we're apparently going to be having a heat wave so i might be roasting in cornwall as we speak um yeah so that'd be nice but we'll have the sea breeze so i'll just have to make sure that we get um sun creamed up and hat on and stuff like that so yeah i have actually don't have a hat i've got a baseball cap but you know i need to get one of these wide brimmed hats but hats just don't suit me i think it's because my fringe as well and also um like they just blow off i mean I, I don't know and also i have a small head so there's lots of factors why i don't wear hats very often but i do need to get one if it's going to be that hot so yeah we'll see but i hope you liked what i have made today and found all my information informative for you um yeah please do give this video a like if you've enjoyed it and subscribe if you've not already done so that would be lovely and then i shall see you when i get back from my holidays with things that i should hopefully have been making throughout the back end of july so i shall see you soon take care everybody bye